Hello, Razor Team. Stand easy. I wanted to come over personally and say how sorry I am about what happened with Miles. Well, thank you, sir. It's appreciated. I know you were a tight team. Pat's going to be a hard man to replace. That's why I'm giving you a choice. I can stand Razor Team down for the duration. You can go home and get some R&R. &R. We can get you on a Fat Albert tonight. You'd be in Germany for dinner. No, sir. That's not necessary. What? Settle down. Now you've done your bit. It's been a tough 24 hours and you've done everything asked of you. No one expects a deep recon unit like Razor to function well one man down, let alone your team leader. So what's it going to be? I don't think leave's necessary, sir. We're staying. All right. I expected nothing less. Truth be told, I hated to ask, but there it is. Now I have a condition. I want your word, Marines, that you're here for the right reasons. This can't be about Miles. You're here for the Cherner Russians, not for revenge. Understood? Yes, sir. Copy that, Captain. Sir! Yes, sir. Don't need to ask that, sir. You're wrong there, Coops. I do need to ask. Especially as I'm sending you after Lopatev. Your recon, after all, it's what you do. All right, sir! I figure giving the mission to Saber or one of the other recon teams would piss you off, so it's yours. They wouldn't like taking it from you anyhow, I'm sure. And don't make me regret it. Clear? Sir! Hoorah! Sir? Yes, sir. All right, now listen up. Lopatev could be nearly anywhere by now. You'll have to decide where to start looking yourselves. Visit some villages, grill the locals, check with intelligence, do whatever you need. When you're ready, go and find Captain Dresler. He's with intelligence over in Elektrozavodsk. He may have other information that could help you on your way. Cooper, you're being field promoted to team leader for the duration. Don't let me down. I'll leave it up to you to decide how and where to begin your search for Lopatev. I'm assigning Star Force 21 to your command. Maddox's Venom is at your disposal from now on. You also have access to the UAV terminal next to the command post. I think that just about covers it. Dismissed. And get some. So what now, Coops? Yeah, yeah. I guess it's my call, huh? Fucking A-team leader. What's the plan? Fight Lopatov, I guess. <laughs> There's lots of country out there. You just gonna start sticking pins in the map? Lopatov talked about Vishnoi when... Ah, uh, you know, when Miles... Hey, yeah! Vishnoya, I heard that! That's a good start! Shafto said Captain Dresser might have some intel for us. He's in the base here somewhere. And we've got Maddox's Venom at our disposal. So I guess we just pick a location and start looking. Like you say, Coops, it's your call. Alright, let's get to it! Get in the car. Roger. Medi. Standing by. <laughs> Waiting.
Hi there. Where's the CP? Right in the middle of the FOB. Look for the command vehicle. Hi there. Where's the CP? Oh, come on. It's in the center of the base. That thing with mast. You jerking my chain or what? Hello, Razor Team. I heard about Master Sergeant Miles. I'm sorry. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. Anyway, it's good to see you boys still in the fight. I hear Shafto's let you loose on Lopatev's trail. Assigned you a chauffeur too, I hear. Yes, sir. The captain said you might have some information for us. Indeed I do, Sergeant. We're working pretty closely with the native Cherna Russian Defense Force on this. I've had one of their intelligence officers seconded to my unit, Lieutenant Marnie. This guy is one of the best field intelligence types CDF counterintelligence has. He has some useful contacts amongst the locals, and maybe the guerrillas as well. If you don't screw it up, Lieutenant Marnie may share his intel. Yes sir, I would. Definitely check out what he has to offer. He's in the CDF liaison outpost here in the base. Look for a CDF tent and a Cherna Russian flag. Hand me your map. Based on our Saturn UAV data, I'm marking three areas of increased activity since Lopatev's escape. Maybe he's holed up in one of them. We have these places down as old training camps and barracks, but there could be more to it. They're all well inside Chidaki Hale territory now, but deep recon boys like you should be used to that. That's where I'd start my search, gentlemen. I'm not saying Lopatev's definitely in one of these camps, but it's not a bad guess. Okay, any questions? Okay. Okay, we've got everything we need. Thanks, sir. No problem, Razor Team. Glad I could help. Good hunting. Front, 200 meters. Man. Hello, sir. Uh, Lieutenant Marnie? Yes, I am Lieutenant Marnie. What do you want, Sergeant? I'm Sergeant Cooper, sir. Right Force flank, 2,000 meters. Razor. Chopper. Captain Dressler suggested we buzz you for information on Lopatev. Huh. We wouldn't have to find him if you Americans hadn't lost him in the first place. What do you want to know? Where's Lopatev likely to go now? Well, he has some camps and supporters between Stary Sobor and Shakovka. He might head there. Thanks. Anything else that might help? Well, an hour ago, I've had a vacuum report of Lopatev being spotted in a blue car. It's not much to go on, but it might be useful. Other than that, you could try talking to a man named Olegich in Staroye. Who's Olegich? Uh, and what's the link? Olegich is Napa, a partisan fighter, one of our contacts. Napa may have information. We are party two. As I say, he lives in Staroye. Chop to our right flank. Far. I think I've heard everything I need from you, sir. Fine. If you find him, I hope he won't run away this time. Oh, return to formation! Roger! Oh, get in that car! Roger! Ready? 